Hey, beautiful people. I wanted to play with Open Tomb, and why not? I mean, it's the cross-platform re-implementation of the classic Tomb Raiders 1 through 5. I can relive my DOS based childhood with Glide support and all that fun stuff. However, however, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, the game engine requires the data files. And the only data files I had laying around were from the Steam version, Tomb Raider 1, which runs in DOSBox, and it's it's pretty rough. I mean, it does get the job done using that, but I wanted the data files out of that to put into Open Tomb for my own uses. Unfortunately, when I handed over to the Tomb Raider 1 file in, um, which is the directory, my Steam directory, I was posed with a bit of an issue, something that I'd never noticed before. Maybe you have. I had a game.gog, which clocked in at 269 megs, and a game.dat, and that was it. What to do? Well, it turns out in what can be only described as a serious misapplication of judgment, the .gog file is effectively an ISO-ish like thing. And we have to, well, turn it into a real boy and mount it. And we're going to do that by creating a Q file and using Bichong, there's something we haven't done in a while, to make it a real ISO. So let's get started with that. Step one, let's get a terminal open, get our directory listing, and we're going to have, well, let's make it nice. The game.gog with our 282. We're going to have to create a file. So, step one, let's do touch and we're going to create a Q file, which is going to be game.q, then nano game.q, text editor. We've got to create the Q. What are we going to put in it? We're going to put in a very interesting incantation file. We're going to tell it what the file is game.gog. It's binary. Track one, it's mode one, 2352, and your index is just going to be not. That's great, that's all you gotta do. So we'll hit Control X and we'll save that to game.q. Boom. So now we have our game.q. What are we gonna do with that? We're gonna break out the B chunk. It's a thing, something I didn't think I'd ever be using in modern time, but we're gonna run B chunk game.gog game.q to CD-ROM. Let's see what happened. Ah, a thing happened. You see that? That thing being is we now have CD-ROM.ISO. Yeah, we can come back over here. And there it is. 234.4 max. This is something we can mount. So... Depending on what you're using, I'm just going to mount it real quick because I have you know, media CD-ROM. You might, might need to create that directory. What am I going to do? I'm just going to do a pseudo mount CD-ROM01 ISO to media CD-ROM. And okay, now let's head back over to our Steam directory, but we do have two Raider 1. Boom. There it is. It's mounted. There's that glorious, glorious data bit selection from 1999. Really what I wanted to get at was everything in the data folder. So if we come over here, we can see this is my open tomb directory. It's easy to build, follow the instructions on the page and um, just dump everything into it. So we can run it. You want to run it? Yeah, let's, let's give that a quick try. Let's go into the terminal. It's a bit roundabout, to be honest with you. But we should at least be able to get open to them. Running, we'd have to load some levels. Let's do that. And there we go. Um, hey, we even have audio. Look at that. Look at Laura. That was the sound, wasn't it? But, ooh. Can we do the backflips? I remember. Whoa. 
controls are weird. Uh, how do we do a backflip? Nope. Okay. I would have to learn how to play this all over, but that's it, man. Uh, you can use this to play two, one through five with your Steam copy. Or maybe, maybe you can be intelligent and pick up an old ISO of the game that you have laying around the house. All right. That's it. Uh, come check us out. We'll get a bunch of stuff at linuxgamecast.com like this. Uh, and patreon.com forward slash linuxgamecast if you want to finance some of our fantastic shenanigans. And again, big shout out to Acurio. I believe I'm doing that right. Which made the original post on a, well, not on, on the GitHub about how to do this. Uh, and links to everything will be in the description if you want to play the home game and do it yourself. All right. Bye-bye.